Okay, we're back. Yeah, I totally screwed up, and I should have just did one of the dumb vehicle missions, uh... Instead of engaging in the hidden packages. After doing those Salvatore missions, but whatever. Because we're on our way to do an RC Toys mission. And those take all of, like, two minutes. And that would have been perfect to, to bookend the prior part. But, you know, on the plus side, we got all the hidden packages for Stonton Island done. And that's a huge, huge win. Uh, yeah, there it is, right there. Oh my god. Please, let me change the fucking radio station. There we go. I wish I could fucking listen to K-Ja, but... Copyrighted music, am I right? Fuck. Oh, that's not a Yakuza stinger, that's just a regular stinger. Where he, what the f- why is he driving on the sidewalk? Did they- they didn't- they never, like, fucking fixed the pathing, uh, for the driving on that, like, small stretch of road. I think it was fucked up in the last game, too. Yeah, they're, like, driving on the wrong side of the road, driving on the sidewalk. It's kind of crazy that they never fixed that, because if you just play this mission, you can easily find out that that's fucked up. Here we go, here's the last one for us. Let's get this away from the van so it doesn't explode in our face. Alright, and the car that we drove over here fucking disappeared. Right, the next thing the guide is uh, suggesting to do is the fire truck missions. So we can go ahead and do that. And then I think after that, that'll probably be enough to call this apart. And I'm presuming that after this, uh, it'll be the vigilante missions. Shouldn't have fucking turned there. Alright, I'm hoping that there won't be too many fires in, uh, the Colombian gang territory. But even if there are, it doesn't really matter, because they don't need to be done, uh, consecutively. Bedford Point. I noticed one thing they didn't implement was changing the markers to have them be up, upward pointing or downward pointing triangles to indicate if the objective is above or below you. I don't know why they didn't do that. They probably should have. Fuck!
Nice. Alright, where's the next one? Oop. Oh my god, could you not? At least it's just like telling me where to go on the map, so that helps. Like, they, they could implement a fucking a GPS, like, directory, but they couldn't fucking implement an up or downward pointing arrow. That seems fucking fishy to me. Oh my god, I hope that these are all just in this little stretch. Ah, fuck. Fucking turned away for one second. I gotta just pay attention. I'll end up fucking exploding this goddamn truck. So I was uh, perusing eBay and Amazon, just looking for, you know, some games that I wanted to buy to uh, potentially play on the channel, um, like old PS2 games or just older generation ge generation games in general. And Jesus fucking Christ! And one game that uh, I've always wanted to get but just never did for whatever fucking reason was uh, Skies of Arcadia. I've always heard great things about that game and I just never played it. I fucking own a Dreamcast and I, I never bought it. I don't know why. I, I guess I was just intimidated by it because I thought it was uh, going to be too hard. And I was looking on eBay to see how much it is and there's basically two versions of the game one on Dreamcast which is the original version and then there's one on GameCube which is like a I guess a ported updated version and they both easily go for over a hundred dollars so fucking disappointing I mean I know part of it is like exclusivity because uh, apparently that game didn't really sell well, so there's probably not that many copies out there. And also, second, um, uh, I don't think that they're like available to play by legitimate means, other than just buying the original fucking copies, which is so whack. Like, who the fuck owns the rights to that game? Just fucking like make it available on, I guess. It could either be a Nintendo system, like the Virtual Console, if if it's still like uh, has a deal with uh, Nintendo, or just port it to like fucking PS4 or something, man. That shit is so lame. All these like old ass games that are fucking fantastic, they're kind of like lost to time because whoever owns the rights, they just don't do anything with the fucking IP. It's ridiculous to me. It's the fucking same bullshit with Silent Hill, like, I mean, sure, you can get the fucking, uh, the HD collection for 2 and 3, but those, those ports of the game, are they're so subpar compared to the original games. And there's, like, no way to play 4 unless you, um, have the fucking game, the original PS2 game. Same thing with Silent Hill Origins, like, you have to own the physical original game. Like, how stupid is that? At least with Silent Hill 1, you can buy it, the uh, the port on, um, on the PlayStation 3, but the other game's, like, tough shit, basically. Like, I just never understood that. That logic is so ridiculous to me. Wow, what is up with the fucking ground? Jesus Christ, that is tough. Alrighty. Oh, 
<sighs> so I think at some point I'm probably just gonna have to bite the bullet and pay a hundred dollars for Skies of Arcadia. Honestly, like I kind of want to own both versions of the game because I I'd like to play both of them just to see how they differ. But I mean, that's like a fucking three hundred dollar commitment easily, which is just fucking so whack, so whack. I don't know. Maybe if I get a nice bonus at work, I can, I can use it on those games. Okay. The good thing is, is that these, uh, these fires are not too far from each other, which is making this not so painful. Unlike trying to watch a fucking Yankee game, which is ridiculous, because you need to have, like, every fucking streaming service under the sun, because the fucking MLB is so dumb when it comes to marketing their fucking... their... their games. I mean, the biggest gripe is there should be a centralized streaming service that shows every single game at all times and there are no blackouts that's how it should be sure you have the local stations like yes SNY Nessen whatever Masson but I mean I should really just be able to buy a fucking subscription to MLB Network and oh I guess I gotta go this way and just wa be able to watch every single game that I want. Like, I, I should be able to pay like a hundred dollars a year or whatever the fuck the payment is and just be able to pick and choose what games I want to fucking watch. Or alternatively, if they do want to have you to do have blackout subscriptions, like I should be able to get a subscription to Yes and just be able to watch all the Yankee games that way. The fuck? I mean, what the actual fuck? Why does Apple TV and Peacock and Amazon Prime and whatever else the fuck is out there have to have all this bullshit that they have like one game a week where like it prevents you from fucking just watching the games on your other streaming platforms. That is so fucking absurd. I hate it. Get it the fuck together, MLB, because it's fucking crazy. I think like two seasons ago, I was able to just subscribe to Hulu, have the sports package, and just watch all the games on Yes and ESPN. That was great. And then they fucked it all up. Half of it is Yes's uh, parent network or parent company. I think it's called Sinclair uh, Networks or whatever the fuck it is. It's called Sinclair something. And instead of, like, uh, keeping the ability to just watch the games on Hulu and whatever, they, like, severed their fucking, their, uh, relationship with Hulu, and now it's the bullshit that it is now. Infuriating. Alright, only five fires left. Oh my god, is this like on the other side of the fucking island? Now they're far apart. Great. It's fucking crazy to me that with like all the, uh... Like streaming services that we have and shit... That, or, or the internet... Um, accessibility that it's still incredibly difficult to access your entertainment sometimes like the like sports is not so easy uh, a lot of video games like I just was talking about um, 
uh, Skies of Arcadia being nearly fucking impossible to obtain, unless you want to pay an arm and a fucking leg for it. It's it just it's insanity. And I don't know if it's... I mean, part of it is certainly greed. But I think another part of it is just, like, companies being inept on what to do with their fucking intellectual property. And they just want to milk it for every... What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. That was bizarre. Jesus. Something in the road just, like, launched the fire truck somehow. Oop. Oh boy. All right. Three more. Bedford Point. I think that's actually kind of far away. Shit. After this, I think I'll do the um, vehicle checkpoint missions. Because we almost certainly will not be able to finish uh, vigilante missions within like the next 20 minutes. Or even, actually, really less, because by the time we finish this, I think we'll be at the 20-minute mark. So I'd want to finish it in, like, f 15 minutes. No more than that. Alright, nice. This one's very close. Going. Oh my God, All right, Belleville Park. Actually, let's just go this way. Okay. Is that uh, on the lower level? It may very well be. If that's so, then it's like literally right in front of the fire station. It looks like it is. <laughs> we can take a little shortcut right through here. Nice. Okay. All right. That's it for the fire truck missions for Staunton Island. All right. I'm going to take a quick break because I need it. Be right back. Okay, after that little break, I think we're ready to do the next thing. So I was originally going to say to do the vehicle missions, but I just noticed, excuse me, that there are only four unique stunt jumps on Staunton Island. So we can just bang those out real quick, and, um, and then we can call it apart. But first, I'm just going to save because... Uh, the very first one that we're going to do is quite perilous, <laughs> and I would rather not fucking die right now and lose all of my weapons and armor and all that other shit. I know that we, like, fuck, um, have all those uh, hidden package pickups, but, you know, look, we have, like, 2,600 fucking Uzi bullets. I'd rather not lose that and then wind up with, like, 350 because we fell in the water. So if I fail, and I die, I'll just edit it out. And if these go barely smoothly, they don't need smoothly, they don't even have to uh, go fantastically, we'll have a sufficiently lengthy uh, part 
And it won't be too long either. Alright, so the first one is actually this fucking dirt ramp one that we came across. I think we actually need to go this way, yeah. Okay, alright, well that didn't work. Big money, big money! Jesus. End over end. Perfect. Very Sugoi. Alright, where's the next one? On the left and on the right of those seas. Okay, alright, I know where the next one is. I think. I think we can get away with not repairing the car for right now. Depending on how this one goes, though, we may need to repair it. Yep, this one right here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You get the fuck out of the way. Only thing that's gonna suck about this is if uh, cars drive down the road. There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue your boss for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser personal injury attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result All right, in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself uh, in the bus okay. and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for Yep, I know exactly where the next one is, too. And, Ponser, and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. Perfect. Hope I got it. I don't actually... Oh, yeah, that was enough. Okay. Alright, and the last one is on the roof of that car park. To the right. This song is so weird. <laughs> I love it when you talk to bones. What the fuck is she talking about? Alright, we just gotta do this one. And then we're done with unique stunt jumps for uh, Staunton Island. Nice. Alright, let's repair this. Actually, no, we don't even have to repair it. We just go back to the fucking uh, the safe house. We still have some time, too. So, you know what? I'll do... Uh, I'll do one of the off-road missions. I'll try and do the harder one right over here with the Landstalker. Try and get that out of the way. I'll just save really quickly in case I fucking somehow die.
Yeah, so the main reason that this mission is a pain in the ass is because the vehicle sucks. Even though it's a fucking... it's an SUV, it has, like, one of the worst handling stats in the game. And it can very easily just flip over. So fucking whack. It's impractical as fuck. Like, even just driving this car on the fucking street, and if you make a hard turn, you can just flip it over. Alright, we gotta turn that shit off. I don't really know how they expect you to do this. But we're gonna try. Okay. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna get that one for a second. <laughs> Got a little worried. That's what I'm- Wow! That's horrible. Too tough for you? The fucking vehicle flipped because it's a piece of shit. Alright, hopefully one respawned over here and we just retry it again. Yeah, it looks like one's there. Yeah, I know. I literally just saw this about 30 seconds ago. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. Well, fucking great. Let's try again. This car is like such a joke as a as an off-road vehicle. It's like this fucking thing wants to flip over. You gotta be shitting me. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, man. It is so absolutely top heavy. <sighs> Alright, this will be my last on-camera try. If I don't get it, I'm just gonna do it off-screen and then cut to the victory. <laughs> or just use the footage that I actually get it. God, this, this mission is such a pain in the ass. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box. I think out of the four off-road missions, this is probably the hardest one just because the, the car sucks. Oh my god. Head Radio, the rock of Liberty City for 60 years. I'm DJ Michael Hunt taking you through another set of non-stop rocket pop. It's Head Radio. Well, at least it didn't get damaged. Yo, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Wh what? Oh my god.
This is horrible. Yeah, oh, the pain of this fucking mission. Sucks. Yo, you have got to be shitting me. This fucking thing went end over end to flip over. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. Um, I guess I'm gonna cut here. And I'll just keep doing it until I get the fucking right one. I'll see you when it's over. to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. I'm nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used okay. to be conscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Saibatsu Pharmaceutical. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and breathing irregularities. Do not take Equinox if you're operating heavy machinery, driving a car, pregnant, a child bearing age, or have a family history of mental disorders. Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the TV event that will make history Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't oh, end this might actually be the run. Oh, yes, this is gonna be it. Fucking thank God. Ah. <sighs> Back on Chatterbox. Call us on the chatter line to tell us what's on your fucking Sugoi. All right, now that that's over, let's fucking go and save, and we can wrap this the fuck up. That didn't really take all that much time. I think I only needed to uh, try about like another five or six times, maybe a little bit more, but. Super frustrating. It's just way too easy to flip this fucking vehicle over. Alright. As always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see you next time.